Hello YouTube and welcome back to my playthrough of Saints Row 2. Even though you guys saw me beat the main story and you saw me do the Secret Julius mission, the story isn't over yet. There's actually two DLC storylines. And on this part, we're going to be doing the Ultor Exposed storyline. And as for Dex, that's going to be the Corporate Warfare storyline on the next part. So there is a story uh, looking for Dex also. So here we go. Let's do this. This is the Ultor Exposed DLC. Hey, thanks for meeting me. I appreciate it. You kidding me? I'm not passing up a chance to hurt Ultor. What you got for me? I know about some things Ultor wants to keep buried. Honey, I got shit to do. I don't have time for poetics. Hey, who's being poetic? I'm talking about bodies. Well, why didn't you say so? So you heard what uh, she said right there, and um, that's uh, Tara Patrick, and she's actually a real person, and um, uh, that's actually um, uh, she actually voiced herself also in this in this DLC. Recover the first set of bodies. So she knows some bad things that Ultor has been doing. Hey, did wants you your find help. the first body yet? It's been like 30 seconds. What's the rush? Well, I'd like you to find the damn things before a Masako team comes after me. How do you know about these bodies? Does it matter? Seeing as I'm about to get shot trying to get him, hell yeah. I used to work for Ultor. How? I didn't think Dane had girls like you on retainer. I worked at the Pyramid as a microbiologist, you judgmental prick. A what? Read a book. Okay, so here we gotta recover the first set of bodies. And the Masako team is trying to destroy the evidence. <laughs> Looks like the Saints are already Minos. fighting them too. Um, Johnny Gat. Okay, so now we bring in the truck here, and this part's gonna be kind of messed up right now. Okay, let's see if we can also get some backup with us too. You don't gotta ask me twice. Oh, here we go. Now look at this. What the fuck? Tara. Calling to apologize? What the hell did you do to these people? I guess you found the first one, huh? What was left of them? Altor's been experimenting with nanites. The hope was to find a way to increase a miner's lung capacity when I saw what they were doing to volunteers. I understand. When you get them all, drop the bodies off at Channel 6. Once the media runs the story, huh, Ultor is finished. So these DLC missions, you can do these missions, I believe, really any time after you form the Saints. But, you know, chronologically, it makes sense to do them yeah, after the main story. I wasn't on the receiving end of that. So there's six bodies in total, and I think the bodies can actually fall out of the trunk, if you're not careful. So Ultor has been doing um, human experimentation, and um, they've been dumping bodies um, uh, in these areas, and now that Terra's um, threatening to expose their secret, uh, they're trying to destroy the evidence. I'm the best for a reason. Trying to get this tr uh, SUV in there isn't that easy. Okay. Okay, recover the fifth body. So, Ultor is a very, um, very, very evil corporation. Oh, and they have a roadblock up ahead. Okay, um. I think I'll swim by. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. Oh, don't. 
stop the APC without destroying it. Okay. Did we lose one of the bodies? I think we might have. Um... Okay, this is the final body that we're gonna go and pick up now. Oh, Ultor's coming after us. Okay, where is this one? Okay, there. And now the hardest part of this mission um, isn't even recovering the bodies, it's actually trying to get back to the new station. Because once you uh, find the final body, I'm pretty sure that you get a decently sized one level, or a lot of them chase you, if I remember this correctly. Did this DLC so many years ago. In this one, they dumped this body in the Saints Row district, though. This one's heavily guarded. Okay. APC has a nice turret that you can always use, this will help you um, uh, clear out the area. What the? Oh, they got a helicopter? Okay, we'll take that down right now. Now we gotta get to channel 6, we got like a minute and 30 seconds to get there, plus we have to um, uh, deal with Ultor chasing us. Yeah, glad I brought back up, even though it's just one guy, it'll help a little bit. Great. Oh wait, there's um... Forgive and forget, will this work? Ah, come on, no. Is okay, it has worked. Oh no, but the one level's coming back. Okay. Well, we have some time before they... They regroup, okay. Almost to the, um, almost to the new station. Ah. Ah, we lost one of the bodies. Damn, yeah, like I said, this is the hardest part of the mission is this. You gotta be kidding me, okay. Out of the way. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god. Looks like this Whoa. Goes to okay, we, bar we barely made it. Uh, we barely made it. Oh man. Did you have any problems? Nothing I couldn't handle. Good. So now what? We wait for Jane Valderrama to pick up the story. You think she's gonna run it? Channel 6 didn't exactly go crazy over the zombie Lynn story. No one cares about an undead gang member, but everybody hates a big corporation. 
ding dong ditch. So, um, and the cash is pretty good for this mission. So, um, uh, basically yeah, now we got the, um, bodies at the channel, at the, um, channel 6, but there's still more to this story here. So let's continue, um, na next, and if you have both DLCs downloaded, the Ultor Exposed DLCs are mostly started up at the Saint HQ, where the Corporate Warfare starts actually here in downtown. I told you. This doesn't make any sense. You handed them a huge story. Ultor handed them money. Couldn't you force Valderrama to do something? I'll see what I can do, but we're gonna need some proof beyond a couple bodies. You came to me with this whole thing. You got any other ideas? If they want proof, our best bet is to get our hands on the chemicals while Ultor is moving them. All right, let's go. So Ultor is gonna be moving the chemicals that they were using for the human experimentation. Um. And the thing is, though, is uh, earlier when the boss said that Channel 6 didn't go crazy over the zombie Lynn story, what he's referring to is that that's kind of like an Easter egg in Saints Row 1 after Lynn dies. You can actually call up um, uh, Lynn and she will appear as a zombie and she'll back you up in missions because Lynn died in Saints Row 1. The same thing with Carlos, but I don't think zombie Carlos is really mentioned. Um, it's just a bit of an Easter egg. I don't really, you know, ever consider the zombie characters canon. Um... Well, they're ramming each other. Okay. They don't have a chance. Oh, you're doing great. Whoa. Fuck yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> So now at the start of that mission, um, well, the start of the, the end of the last mission, I should say, um, the boss said that Channel 6 um, didn't go crazy over the zombie Lynn story. What he's referring to is it's a bit of an Easter egg where you can There's actually um, uh, call up zombie right, Lynn as a it. homie in Saints Row 1 because Lynn died, and um, uh, she will just follow you around as a zombie and help you out. The same thing with Carlos, um, but it's not really mentioned any further than that. We're Saints totally going to pull this off. I know it. They don't have a chance. You're doing Altar is never gonna see this coming. Alright, get in the back and cover us. Altar isn't gonna like losing a shipment. <laughs> well, we just lost the shipment, it just blew up. Okay, Let's so now this, this mission thing at the um, airport until we get a hold of Jane. Even though this mission is um uh is a, a mission where she uh, drives a new shoot, it's actually really hard. The amount of enemies that you have to fight in this mission, it is ridiculous. These helicopters are the worst enemy that you can fight in Saints Row 2 also. They will lock on to you even if you're on foot, and they will kill you really fast. Um, and even on regular difficulties, they're annoying. I'm playing on hardcore. So Another helicopter is coming in wonderful. We gotta hurry! Reload. Easy. Oh my god, that helicopter is getting really annoying right now. Kara's driving isn't helping. 
anyone gonna give me a good? Do it great, Terra. Okay. Oh, the hit that more of these helicopters. Oh my God. We gotta hurry. What the fuck is that thing? Oh they great, this is the, the worst part of the mission type? now. <laughs> wow. Scout prototype? What the hell are you talking about? It's Eric Griffin's pet project. He wanted an ATV to scout for prime mining locations. No, Tara, what are you doing? Need a goddamn turret! Hey, you gotta blast through rock. Makes sense to me. Where the hell are you people planning on mining? Trust me, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. It's probably the best way to destroy a the grenade yet. launcher. Great. We're almost there. Just buy us a little more time. You are watching. This is bad. We're not going to make it. Damn. Oh my god. That. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to turn down the difficulty on this. I really hate to do this, but this mission is like almost impossible if you try to do it on um on hardcore. It's just it's just so ridiculous with the, with the the truck health and just the um yeah. I normally don't Dash do this, this in thing a game, at the airport but until it's just, we get a hold of Jane. The, the truck health just makes this mission like so stressful, and like the enemies that come after you, the helicopters, and then the, the damn EDF scouts come in. That's like the worst part of it. The fuck is that thing? They oh, okay, sent the so scout here comes prototype. This, um, <laughs> wow. Scout here comes prototype. The scout, what the hell are you um, talking about? It's Eric Griffin's pet project. He wanted an ATV to scout for prime mining locations. Why does a mining vehicle need a goddamn turret? Hey, you gotta blast through rock. Makes sense to me. Where the hell are you people planning on mining? Trust me, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. We gotta hurry. Great. Yep, there's three of them now. We're almost there. Just buy us a little more time. Look at these. Even on normal difficulty, this is just ridiculous right now. What are you now. doing back there? Montera Drive. We almost there yet? My god, there's still one more scout. Oh my god, all the scouts are gone. Oh my god. This is bad! Let them go. Oh man, that mission is just so stressful. Like, even on normal difficulty, I barely passed it, but like, hardcore difficulty, good luck with that. Oh man. Jane, come on, it's a great story. I want an interview. What? Corporate greed stories are a dime a dozen. I want something more. A whistleblower endangering their lives for justice. That's how you get ratings. I don't know if she'll go for it. Then I'm not running your story. Fine, I'll go talk to her. Expect highway delays. Well, the payouts in these missions are great, though. Okay, so let's go and do the final, um, uh, the final Ultor Exposed mission. And that vehicle that came after you, that is the EDF Scout. And the, uh, if you play Red Faction Guerrilla, you're gonna recognize that thing. Um, now the reason that the um, EDF Scout is in this game is because Ultor actually mined on Mars in the future. And so that's a reference also to Red Faction Guerrilla. So technically Red Faction and Saints Row are in the same universe, as weird as it is. Um, but it was a little bit of a nice crossover here, you know, they, just, they didn't go too crazy over the top, but it was still nice. Um, but the EDF Scout is actually the most deadly vehicle in the entire game. And I'll show you guys, uh, when we complete the final mission, how deadly that vehicle actually is. America's next top scientist. I don't like this. It's just an interview. It's live TV. Anything can happen. I got shot at getting this shit for you, and now you're telling me you're nervous about being interviewed? It's stressful. No, people trying to kill you is stressful. <laughs> Listen, smartass, you have no idea how hard it is to be in front of the camera. Did you see me on Fuzz? Yeah, but you didn't care if you did a bad job. All you had to do was kill a ninja with a chainsaw. True. Look, let's just get this over with, okay? So, um, uh, Tara was there talking about Fuzz, which is a side activity which I'll do a video about. 
And this is also Terra's car, which is a new um, car that was added in this DLC. Hey, who's got time for breaks, right? In. Out. The hell are you doing? I'm relaxing. You really that afraid of looking like a fool on national television? <sighs> You're not helping. You'll be fine. Can't you just imagine people in their underwear? Uh-uh. That won't work. I've got a thing with nudity. Then I guess you're fucked. <sighs> I oh, and let's uh, turn... Did I turn the difficulty back to hardcore? I did. Okay. Again, well, I did right now. Nice but, um... Not helping. Okay, so we have the saints here to help us out, too. We can hold out here. Had the saints stash some supplies in case shit went bad. Looks like my favorite type. Hot and Wait here, Terry. I'm gonna check and make it. sure no one's coming. Okay, is there a sniper rifle here? Um... No, it doesn't look like there is. Only got two rockets, that's it. I should have probably stocked up more. Oh, here we go. So a lot of saints are up here now. Here, helicopter. What the? Oh, that's the hind. So Ultor now has hinds. Um, that's a new helicopter that they have. Whoa, whoa. Okay, yep. Yeah. A little difficult to hit it. Very agile. Okay, what do I have to do here exactly right now? I see the hind, but... What am I supposed to be doing right now? Um... Five stars of old war. Old war helicopters are bringing in Masako from the north. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That's the problem with the attack helicopters. You see exactly what I was talking about? That they lock onto you once, they fire a missile, you're dead. You're done. We can hold out here. Had the Saints stash some supplies in case shit went bad. Ah. Yup, here's the convoy. I blew up one of the helicopters. If anyone asks, my name is Brooke. Come on, can we not do that? Yeah, they're trying to blow up the truck with the chemicals in it. Voltor jumping the gorge. Oh, great. Yep, there. Okay, it's another hind taken out. Okay, 
only one. No, Jane, you can never beat me. Hold up, Jane's calling. My crew is already waiting for you. Find their truck, and I'll meet you there. Now he's gonna bring the chemicals over to Jane. You want me to drive? Most, she's the most popular journalist in um in Stillwater. Please tell me this thing has our bags. Have to drive through this. Oh no, this move, move NPC move. Come on, come on. Listen, I'm running behind. Just wait for me on the slopes below Mount Claflin. I'll be there soon. Aight, we'll be here. Destroy the Ultor helicopters. Now this, this is gonna be a nightmare. Look at that. It's a whole fleet of Heinz coming at you. Great. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack right now. Oh my god, the missiles! God, those missiles are just so stressful. They, like, lock onto you and stuff. This! You have to fight this now. I didn't get where I am by okay. being a pussy. Oh my god, one of the Heinz is down. At least they only take one RPG. Okay, two Heinz are down. Four helicopters left to deal with. I'm not leaving this area here. I'm gonna use the mountain as cover. Last thing I need is all of them firing missiles at me at once. It's gonna be a nightmare. Yeah, here they come back now. Oh, I hit one. Okay, three left. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God, I'm almost dead. Oh, my God. I'm so close to dying right now. Yeah, this is this is the horror of playing on hardcore mode. This. Okay. Okay, only one helicopter I left. Down. Oh man, I'm just I'm still scared. It's right above me too. There we go, it's all the old war helicopters gone. Oh man. This is Jane Valderrama reporting live with Terra, a woman who claims our city is in danger. That's right, Jane. The Ultor Corporation has been using a secret R&D lab to conduct unethical experiments on the citizens of Stillwater. Those are some strong allegations. I'm assuming you have proof. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I have the bodies of people who were experimented on, as well as some of the chemicals that were used to do it. And why do you think Ultor is responsible? I conducted the experiments myself. So these were the acts of a crazed individual? Excuse me? You said that you conducted the experiments. Well, yeah, but... So you admit that you perverted science to serve your own twisted desires. No! Ultor was the one that was... It's an all-too-familiar tale. A beautiful woman takes a job at a multi-billion dollar global corporation hoping to fulfill her dreams of microbiology, only to find herself disgusted at her failure to ascend the corporate ladder and turns to mad science in order to blackmail her employer. I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Why did you do that? I thought you were going to help us. Journalistic integrity doesn't pay the rent, Terra. You just humiliated me in public. I just made the saints a lot of money. Listen, honey, Ultor was going to bury this story anyway. At least this way we got a little something out of it. Ultor isn't going away. You'll have plenty of time to plot your little revenge scheme. 
Don't worry, I will. So, as you guys saw right there, um, uh, Humble Reporter exposes mad scientists. So, um, uh, Jane Valderrama made, um, uh, Terra look stupid. Um, so Terra's now unlocked as a homie. Terra sports car. And we should unlock the, um, or I think we already have the EDF scout in our garage. I'll check right now. But, um, yeah. So, uh, Jane Valderrama manipulated the, um, the report to cover for Ultor. Oh, so Ultor, um, that's how much power Ultor has. She said that the story would have been buried anywhere. Anyways. Gonna have to fix this thing up. So nothing came out of that. So like you did you did all this work to try to expose the you know the bad things that Ultor was doing and nothing actually came out of it. So but anyways, let me show you guys the um uh the EDF scout. And I'll show you guys why it's the most powerful vehicle in the game. So here we can call Terra as a homie now. Let's see here. Um... Oh, busy right now. That's weird. Maybe it's because I was jumping out of the car. No, it's not working. Oh, well. Well, um, let me show you guys the EDF scout that I was talking about. Uh, here it is. EDF scout. This is the most powerful vehicle in all of Saints Row 2. I know it might not look like it, but it is. So you even have the Red Faction logo on the back, but how is this thing so powerful? Just just watch. Let me see if I can find some cars. Look. You miss me? You see that? This, the, the turret on this thing fires uh, like so many rockets at once. And like you are basically unstoppable when you're in this thing. Like you can just keep destroying and destroying and destroying. Like no one can pretty much stop you. It's just this is so ridiculous. This thing is effective than any tank or any any um. It's fast too. Any attack helicopter or anything like that. It's just oh, we can do a drive-by diversion with this. That's that's so ridiculous. You can do a drive-by diversion with this. But yeah, this shows you just how um how powerful this thing is. Only kills from a car count. Well, this is technically a car, I guess. Look at this roadblock. Oh, the cars disappear. It's weird. And we can just keep running a um uh drive-by diversion on this. The car's gonna get a little bit damaged as cops ram into you, but... This is so weird doing a gang drive-by in this thing. But there we go. And so, um... Well, the cops chasing us. And even the APCs, they stand no chance against this thing. So yeah, this is a DLC vehicle, but it is the most powerful vehicle in all of Saints Row 2. F FBI can't stop us either. So I guess we'll leave it off here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll have the next part up for you guys as soon as I can. That'll be the Corporate Warfare DLC. That's the more popular DLC. And it continues the storyline with Dex. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. My main focus is I know a lie. She better not follow me. This is optometry. The MP11s is the only way it's gotta be. Be a bulletproof. I'm sitting on 23.